and we are in line 23. He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my days. And so that sends us to Job 21, 21. That says, for what does he care about his household after him when the number of his months is cut in half? All right. All right, that just the car robbery, the shortened days. Um, 24, I said, oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Now, this, oh my God, is not the same one that they always use in OMG all over the place. They're literally calling on God. How people just literally just use and blatantly using God's name in vain. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. So I said, oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. He really, really meant that. It's not just using it as some cliche as they're doing today. And so that sends us to Isaiah 38, 10. Isaiah 38, 10. That says, I said, in the, in the prime of my life, I should go to the gates of Sheol. I am deprived of the remainder of my years. All right. And so that's just talking about Hezekiah's sickness. So just to uh, show that, and then also, all right, because Isaiah, I mean, Hezekiah had asked for more time on earth. So that's why the psalmist said, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. And then so that sends us to Psalm 90, line 2, that we covered not so long ago. And it says, before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth in the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And truly he is. There's no God besides our God. Glory to God. All right. And then going back to the Psalm, <coughs> excuse me, 102. In line 25, it says, <clears throat> Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. And so that sends us to Hebrews 1, 10, and 12. And it says, And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. And so that sends us back to where we come from, Psalm 102, 25 to 24. And then it says in 11, they will perish, but you remain, and they will grow old like a garment. Praise God. Uh, all right, and so that sends us to Isaiah 34, 4, that says, All the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled up like a scroll. All their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falls from the vine and as a fruit falling from a fig tree. All right, praise God. And then also 15 verse 9. Is it 50 verse 9? That says, Surely the Lord. God will help me. Who is he who will condemn me? Indeed, they will all grow old like a garment. The moth will eat them up. All right. And so going back to uh, 102. And it says. In 26, it says that they will perish, but you will endure or you will continue. Yes, all of them will grow old like a garment like a cloak you would change them and so that sends us to isaiah 34 4 that we just read that huh 34 4 yeah 
Okay, because Hebrew sent us there. So if I just read it again, all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled up like a scroll. All their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falls from the vine and as fruit falling from a fig tree. And notice, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know how the scripture keep corroborating with one another. Hebrews had sent us this here already. And the Psalm 102 sent us back there as well. And then Psalm 102 sends us to um, Isaiah 51 6. 51 6. That says, Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look on the earth beneath, for the heavens will vanish away like smoke. The earth will grow old like a garment, and those who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will not be abolished. And so that's Messiah's encouragement to Israel. Praise God. And so what we're going to do is pause here, and then we'll pick it up. Hopefully we'll probably close it out in the next segment.